Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now going to answer question number 15 from the specimen paper of 2015 for the International GCSE um, Cambridge Examinations. This is paper 2, extended paper, for the 0580 syllabus. One of uh, my students has requested me to answer this question. Um, and I'm going to do so. This question is about travel graphs. And we're told that a container ship traveled at 14 kilometers per hour for eight hours and then slowed to nine kilometers per hour over a period of 30 minutes. It traveled at this speed for another four hours and then slowed to a stop over 30 minutes. The speed time graph shows this voyage. OK, so here you have the speed time graph. And you can see that for the first eight hours it's going at the speed of 14 kilometers per hour okay let me just uh, make that a bit thinner okay and then we can see for the next half an hour so it's going like until eight o'clock at 14 kilometers per hour okay and then for the, n the next half an hour, um, it slows down for the next half an hour constantly until it uh, reaches 9 kilometers per hour. So it's, it's reducing its speed at a constant rate until 8.30. And it reaches the speed of 9 kilometers per hour. And then it says it goes at a constant speed for another 4 hours. So like from 8.30 to 12.30, I guess. 12.30. So that's 12.30, and it's going at this speed for, you know, um, tw until 12.30. Then it slows down for the next half an hour until it comes to rest. Um, of course, that's going to be 13 hours after it started the journey. Okay, so here we have, uh, you know, the breakdown of this journey. So the question A says, calculate the total distance traveled by the ship. Now, the total distance is, in a speed time graph, is given by the area under the graph. It's the area under the graph. Okay, and here we have some different shape of areas. So we've got this rectangle, this trapezium, this rectangle, and another, uh, this triangle at the end. Okay, now, um, what I can see is using these lines is going to be a bit of hassle. Okay, because, you know, we could say the last one is one trapezium, maybe even that, that, that might make it easier. We can consider this one trapezium, another trapezium, and a, and a, and a rectangle. However, what would be far easier, I think, is if we considered a line going horizontally across from 9 okay, to this point here. So this, this line across here, if I draw a line from here, let me just make it um, a bit thinner. So if I draw a line from here going across, that line, that's a 9 o'clock here, or sorry, that's the speed of 9 kilometers per hour. Okay, so that line here is going to be a better... Um, line to draw to split this into two areas, only two areas we have to find. We have two trapeziums, basically. We have trapezium A and trapezium B. If I find the area of trapezium A and add the area of trapezium B, I've got the area under the whole graph, um, which tells us the distance traveled. The distance from a speed time graph is the area under the graph. Okay, so now what we need to do is find the area of trapezium A and the area of trapezium B. Now, the area of a trapezium is given by the formula. The distance between the parallel sides, which in this case are these horizontal lines. Um, so for A, it's going to be this distance here. Uh, sorry, the distance, yeah, the parallel sides are these. Okay, so the parallel sides are these lines over here. Okay, so this is the parallel side for this. And this is the other parallel side for this. Okay, so that's the, that, that's the length of the parallel sides. The distance between the parallel sides is this length here. Okay, so for, tra for trapezium A, the distance between the tra parallel sides is 5, and this, the length of the parallel sides is from, this is up to 8 o'clock, so that's 8, um, and this is 8 and a half hours, that's 8.5. I'll write that up here so I separate from the other side. Okay, and... For the trapezium below, we've got the, the height of the trapezium is that height, which is going to be from 0 to 9. And uh, we can say that the length of the parallel sides, well, you've got this length here from there to there, which is 
twelve point five because it, it went from that's from eight thirty. Yeah, so it's twelve point five. And the length underneath the other parallel side, this one, is all the way to thirteen. Okay, so we have what we need now to find the area of each trapezium. We know the area is the distance between the parallel sides divided by two times the sum of the parallel sides. So A and B are the are the the length of the parallel sides and h is the distance between them okay so h i don't like to call it height because sometimes you have a trapezium which is on its side like this and these are the parallel sides and the height therefore is not always vertical so the height means in a trapezium formula it means the distance between the parallel sides so now we can find the area of a so for a it's going to be um, 5 divided by 2 times 8 times 8 plus 8.5 so 5 divided by 2 times 8 plus 8.5, which is 2.5 times 16.5. And for B, it's going to be 9 divided by 2 times, and we got 12.5 plus 13.5, 12.5 plus 13, sorry. So that's going to be 4.5 times 25.5. So we can find those areas. 2.5 times 16.5 plus 4.5 times 25.5. Well, let me just do it one at a time just to show the step there. That's going to give me um, 41.25. And this part's going to give me 4.5 times 25.5. That's going to give me 114.75. So in total, that's going to give me 156 kilometers. So the total distance it travels is 156 kilometers in that um, journey here. Now, part B says calculate the average speed of the ship. Now, the average speed is the total distance it's traveled total distance it travels over the total time it took total time it took because of course its speed is not the same all the way through it changes it's going this speed and it's slowing down it's going another speed and it's slowing down so it's not going at a constant speed so to find the average speed we take the total distance which we already found which is 156 and we divide it by the total time it took which was these 13 hours that's the total time for the whole journey so as simple as that, that's why it's only worth one mark. It's just simply dividing your last answer that you got, dividing it by 13, and that gives you 12 kilometers per hour. And there's the answer to this question. And that's question 15 done. Other questions uh, from this specimen paper, when I get around to doing them, if um, anyone requests any of them, I will do and put them in the playlist that should appear in this area. Uh, other questions from this uh, topic of travel graphs will be found in this playlist and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and on the top of the page on the top right here you'll see a card taking you to uh, another paper that I might have done um, um, from the same syllabus, paper 2. Thank you for watching and see you soon.